love spring fever, as we all know, is in the air and showing us a great way to create the perfect ambiance with a DIY floral chandelier is Orly. Someone else with perfect ambiance. Yeah, and somebody else who just has a perfect ambiance about her. Thank you. Thank all right, here we as go. It's swaying. We gave it a little push, did, so it did. has a nice soft sway. It's because I walked into it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was trying to cover for you, but you gave it away. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this. So I was really inspired by Royal Matchmaker Homeworks movie, and I just thought it's this, you know, there's these beautiful chandeliers on this set. Yeah, I wanted right. to do something that was really regal and pretty and feminine, and this is... A lot of fun too. And you know what? And just in time because Joy yeah. Lenz from the movie is going to be here tomorrow. That's yes, right. Sweet. We can brag about it. And we're going to talk to her all about the movie. Oh my God, I she hope she loves love it. it. Well, so we did she it in honor of her. It. I hope she does. And I, I, I mean, this obviously takes a little bit of time to create. Yeah. So walk us through it. How did you, how'd you go about doing it? Well, I'll show you. I got here, you know, I, I started working on it in the morning and it's not very complicated at all. Wait till you see how this actually comes together. That right there is a hula hoop, what? by the way, just that I spray painted green. Now, I got oh these goodness. chains at Home Depot. They're just a lightweight chain. And what I did is I took one length of the chain and I measured it in half and then used my pliers to open it up. So now I had two lengths. I opened up four separate chains because this is how we're going to attach it. You loop it around, take one of the ones that you opened, loop it back, and close it. Now that's going to hold it on to, we're going to have four anchor points. And so see, now it's like a little tug. I can hold it there. So now I go all the way across. That way it's halfway suspended on either side of the hula hoop. And I do the same thing with the other one. So if you see, I hold it up. I've got a little okay, tea, sure. you know, a balanced tea. Now these are, this is just some greenery. I went um, to the craft store and I bought this is fake flowers, and I am looping it around. I recommend starting at a midpoint, working halfway on one side and halfway on another. That it's way like you're garland. not. garland. Yeah, it's exactly garland. Yeah. That's exactly it. So once you see and you have a nice even line, if you want to take some green zip ties and anchor them down, maybe about six inches apart, um, it's not going to move around on you, but those anchor points are going to be really helpful when we start adding our flowers. It's already looking so, fantastic. Yeah, right? Even that alone is really pretty. Yeah. yeah. So then I got some, again, this is all fake. I got eucalyptus, and I cut them into smaller layers because I wanted to add a little bit of that like sage green color so that sure. we have all different shades of green. So I am actually taking the spokes there and I'm pushing them through all of the little zip ties and the wrapping of the vines. Now I went with my bigger flowers and I went every other. And this was starting to create my structure. I knew I was gonna fill it in, but this is the beginning, right? This is exactly how it started. And now you That's can see beautiful. I've just or... added more flowers in. Yeah. But the, a really important thing is that because not only do we have the zip ties that act as a little point that you can push flowers into, right. that vine is wrapped like this. So, so at every point that it wraps around, it's giving you almost like a little anchor point that you can push your flowers into. So it holds it. So you're not then adding like flower wire, exactly. or like all, right. or all this stuff. You're, you're taking it and you're working with the tension and pushing everything into those little holes. So is there any... Um, rhyme or reason as to how you put the flowers where? There is. Okay. You want to start with your bigger flowers first. Okay. So start with that and separate them out really evenly. You want to do all of those flowers first. Like we saw you do on the Exactly. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Then you move on to your next smallest flowers. Okay. And you're going to do those all the way around. You really want to make sure that you're getting balance because if you start working in one section, it looks really great. You might run out of flowers. Okay. You don't make it all the way around. There you go. Then you, so you go smaller, 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 smaller. Okay. And another thing is make sure at a certain point you do suspend it and work on it while it's hanging because you you want to get all See, this yes. underneath. What and you don't have that. So tight. balanced. Listen, I was just at an event recently, and of course, in the middle of the table, there was a massive centerpiece. I had to work <laughs> oh, to kind of no. like talk to people around. It's, and then I'm looking at this. I mean, talk a little bit a about the idea. different uses yeah. you can do. One of which would be a great, it would be a great sort of centerpiece, centerpiece raised would, off the table. This would be really incredible for an event, yeah. a special dinner for the hero table in the room, yeah. anything like that. We were talking even like, I want to put this in my daughter's room. Oh, we're doing, sweet. we're working on our house, oh. and we're, the kids are each going to have their own room very oh soon so I like get to make a girly room so, <laughs> and so like something like or this even out back in the garden exactly if you have like an outdoor, have an outdoor table. table oh my gosh so how lovely would that be so now in order to make it feel Fin appropriate Fingo. for the film, we want to add a little bit of dangling okay, crystals. Okay, I see. Come back. So these film. are available. Any, you know, I got these at a place called Moscatels, which is downtown. They have a lot of, you know, crafting supplies and fake flowers and things like that. They're chandelier beads, but instead of us attaching them and needing to take a like a jump ring and opening it, we're sure. just going to drape them. Can so we help? Drape them, please do. Okay. And what I would love you All to right. do is yep. alternate every other so that one side is longer on the outside and I shorter see. on the inside. So you guys then, both have inside ones. Though, yeah. So. so now if you make this one longer on the on the inside, you on go this inside. way. 
So in other right? words, I did it backwards. You did it backwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, whatever. You're welcome. And it doesn't matter Thank how, you, world. <laughs> it also doesn't matter how long or short they are because they can no, just be kind No, you want them alternating. And the reason that this is plenty secure, you really want to kind of push it in to inside of the flowers and wedge it in. But this is now going to be hanging and suspended. No one's pulling on this. Right. Well, so Speaking you of hanging, how yeah. are we going to hang it? What you do is the way that the four chains came up to the top, you let them meet at the top and put like an S hook. Oh, and right. attach that. You just want to make sure that you're working with something strong in your ceiling, like an anchor point in your ceiling of some sort. And I know but yeah, then we just drape and sort of make take a step back. Always take a step back and look and see where you need a little more, a little amazing. less. Amazing. And that's it. And although this looks fairly substantial, it's I can tell you, people, it's it's pretty light. It's it's you it's, don't a need, hoop. it's a hula hoop. It's a hula hoop. I mean, it's a hula hoop. It's so super uh, lightweight. Don't use it to hula hula anymore. Your, no, yeah. no hula ink. But you could do this with real flowers. Of course, you could do it with real flowers. Obviously, just remember that it's going to only last for a short amount of time oh, so man. for me I would say they make such incredible quality silk and flake flowers now, now that you, you can really have this hanging for a long time as opposed to just for one night I, I see a hole I'll you. let you guys that finish so up beautiful. be sure Thank to catch you. Royal Matchmaker premiering this Saturday at 9 8 central this is so uh, and I done, request or? I request a mailbox wall of someone doing this yes I request it please oh I want to see it's it in so all pretty. one color Oh, oh my cool. gosh, do whatever you want. Whatever. We're so excited to see what you guys are going to do. Thank you so much, Orlando. Thank Love you. That. That's pretty cool. And you all stick around because coming up a springtime Mommy and Me fashion show with designer Nikki Hilton that is going to make you go, oh, so cute. Come back to the